This is mistletoe, viscum album, an evergreen shrub. Here it's growing on a rowan tree in Kewinning in Ayrshire. Mistletoe was very rare in Scotland. It's extremely common in places such as the England-Welsh border and in Europe. It can be a serious parasite. Technically, it's a hemiparasite in that it makes its own sugars because it has chlorophyll in its leaves. However, it takes water and salts from its host. The roots of mistletoe have been transformed into structures called hortstoria that embed themselves and grow within the timber of the tree. The plants are, are dioecious, that is, they're found as male and female plants separately. So both are needed to produce the berries. The berries, with their white sticky contents, are politely said to have seminal potency. It was believed that the energy of the trees, when they'd lost their leaves, went into the berries, that in the spring it flowed back into the tree itself. This links with the custom at Christmas of kissing beneath the mistletoe and taking a berry for each kiss. It's said that you can age a growth of mistletoe by counting the number of divisions and by adding two. Mistletoe used to be used in making bird lime. Holly was also used. This bird lime was spread onto the branches of trees and birds landing on it remained glued to it so the birds could then be taken. There are many legends associated with mistletoe. A popular one is that of the Druids dressed in white clothing, who would cut mistletoe from oak trees using a gold sickle and would be caught in a cloth to prevent it from touching the ground and losing its energy. Another is the legend in Scandinavia of Balder. Balder was the son of Frigg, who was the wife of Odin. His brother was the infamous Loki. Frigg had asked everything on earth to promise that it would not kill her son. However, the mistletoe was thought to be too young and was not asked. Loki, by scheming, managed to have his brother killed with some, some, some say, an arrow or a spear made of mistletoe. The seeds are poisonous to humans, but not to many bird species. Such birds as mistle thrush eat the seeds, but because of the stickiness caused by the substance called viskin, they wipe their beaks against the bark. Sometimes the seeds will stick. They will then eventually germinate and grow into the wood. But being green, they need to be exposed to the light. There's no need for them to pass through the body of the bird, first of all, and there's no need for them to be enclosed within a pocket in the bark to grow. Mistletoe rarely grows on oaks. It's quite commonly found on apples, lime, poplar, blackthorn and hawthorn, amongst others.